The Vancouver Fraser Port Authority contributes to thriving communities, working proactively to be a good neighbour, inspiring community connections, fostering Indigenous relationships, and upholding safety and security. BC Achievement is grateful to partner with the Port Authority to further their shared goal of elevating excellence, sharing success, and inspiring change through the Indigenous Business Award program. Congratulations, Carol Ann Hilton, on receiving the 2020 Indigenous Business Award of Distinction. Uklasish Carol Ann Hilton, Heshkwak Supsish Uklas Wakatush Koatza Amti. My name is Carol Ann Hilton. I am Nuchanoth from the Heshkwayat First Nation. My Nuchanoth name is Wakatush, which means uh, big sister, or I come from a line of the oldest woman. So my mother was the oldest, and my grandmother was the oldest, and I come from a line of strong indigenous Nuchanoth women. And where I come from is very much reflective in my work. I draw from Heshkwit reality of being a Nuchanoth person that our people um, our ocean people, our people um, come from a long history of being whalers and it's that strength of my ancestors that I draw on to facilitate the truth of how powerful we are as Indigenous people today. So Indigenomics started as a hashtag and it started as a word that didn't exist and what I see is that our future as a country requires new language and Indigenomics as a new word to grow from a single hashtag into what it is today to influence policy, to influence the regulatory environment, to influence the ability for ourselves as Indigenous people to see ourselves as functioning Indigenous economies. We need to view Indigenous peoples as economic powerhouses. And when we view Indigenous peoples as powerful economic strength, it shifts from a policy perspective, it shifts how we make decisions, it shifts how we invest into the Indigenous economy, and it shifts a narrative of hundreds of years old of seeing Indigenous peoples as a problem or a burden on the system. So the question that I'm asking right now is that the 2016 metric um, of the last measurement of the Indigenous economy was 32 billion. So in order to achieve a $100 billion Indigenous economy, what is important to me is to visualize what does $68 billion of Indigenous economic activity look like? What are those hot spots and how do we pay attention to those areas like technology or procurement or trade or entrepreneurship and look at those as places to support um, high levels of Indigenous economic activity? I think that there's this growing army of Indigenous entrepreneurs and seeing the role of women in that um, has been absolutely amazing. We look at this uh, spectrum of how many Indigenous women see business or see opening a business as an opportunity. I really believe strongly and facilitate that business is a path forward for us where we can see ourselves in our own future, in a future that has jobs for our families and our communities, and that our participation in our own economies is essential to our future and to Canada's future. I was mentored with the late Richard Wagamis, who is a phenomenal human being and an award-winning author and genius with his writing and he always talked about never fight the feeling so being aware of your own mental state so never fighting yourself so that you're always able to maintain a creative state and that's something that I've taken with me in my work so as my own business owner I can work at six in the morning or I can not and really being able to understand um, the best of my ability of being creative, being daring and using courage in my work is what is most important to me. What is most important in becoming an Indigenous entrepreneur is to manage your own sense of confidence and self-awareness um, of that. 
Um, this award means to me that I still feel like kind of the new kid on the block and they're like, they gave it to me. <laughs> and what is important is that bringing the visibility of um, our Indigenous economic strength is that too often we're told, you know, all these negative statistics about us, about poverty or ill health or social ills in our community, and that changing that narrative to one that's strength-based is something that I feel that this award supports and recognizes. Caroline is, is one of the ones that actually, her kickstart was seeing a woman succeed. And Caroline was only about maybe late teens at that time and look at her today and look at what a role model she is today and we need that forward type of thinking of Carol Ann where we're at the moment we still so, sort of think about our economic development being limited to our communities and our regions but Carol Ann changes that level of thinking where we're looking globally. And so she's an excellent model for forward thinking and advancement. I am inspired by the entire volume of Indigenous entrepreneurs that have come throughout this program and to see the increasing force of Indigenous businesses and how we are connecting to our families and communities and to our own future in new ways through business, that inspires me and that is Indigenomics.